Hey everyone, this is Dylan. I want to give you a tutorial of Sound Slice, which is a website that our teachers use. It's a platform for learning music with interactive music notation, and I think it's one of the best tools you can use to help you learn music. Sound Slice lets students see their teacher's repertoire, transcriptions, and demonstrations, and also provides functions like looping, slowing the music down, written in pitch names, transposition into any key, multiple track parts, and the ability to upload a video of your performance, as well as notate your own music. So, let me show you around. So first you'll need to create a free account on SoundSlice, which can be done at SoundSlice.com. And once you get your course code, you can log in, and you'll see that each course is grouped by instrument and teacher. So if you were Dylan's guitar student, you would see this. And if I click on it, you'll see that it brings you to the page where it has all of the slices or songs. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see that all of the course files are available to download as PDFs. And let's say I click on this first one, Ode to Joy. It'll bring you to this window where you can see the music notation as well as the video, which is a performance of the teacher playing it. And if I click play, it'll show you the notes lighting up as the teacher plays it. So it makes it easy for the student to follow along with the music. So the cool practice tools of SoundSlice are found down here at this bottom toolbar. So what I can do is if the song is up being played a little bit too fast and I would like to play along with it slower, I can decrease the speed, let's say to 80%, and that makes it a little bit slower so it's maybe a little bit easier for me to play along with. Another practice tool you can use is this looping button, which is the circle with the arrows on it. If I click this, it'll highlight a bar, and I can highlight as much or as little as I want to, and this will loop that section of music. So if there's a, a portion of it that is a little bit challenging and something that I want to work on over and over, I can loop this part and it'll keep playing it for me. Down here you'll also see that this is a volume button. This is the metronome if you want to turn on a click. This just shows the audio waveform of the recording. And this could be helpful for piano students or anybody wanting to see it being played on the piano. If you click on this, it'll light up the notes also as they play. The right hand is yellow and the left hand is shown in purple. Now over here, when you go to this gear icon, these are the settings. So what I can do here is make the music notation bigger, which is helpful for small screens and computers. I can also mute certain tracks, so if there's a duet or a band or multiple parts, you can show just one of them. Here I can click whether I want or to see the pitch names or not. This is helpful for students that are just learning how to read music. Here, I can transpose it into any key. So it's in C right now, and if I wanted to play it in D flat, it would transpose that for me. So a few other settings from this toolbar would be the ability to print the song directly from the site, and you can check whether or not you wanna play with the count in or how you want the loop to play. If you go over here to the video, you can make it bigger, you can adjust the video quality, you can make it full screen, you can change the direction of the video, and you can hide whether or not you want to see the music notation in just the video. So for the most part, these are the main tools you're going to use on Sound Slice. What you'll see over here is that these are all of the slices. So you can easily click on each of them and browse all of the songs. As well as this button up here which um, lets you add a performance. So this would allow me to add a video or an audio recording of that piece to submit to my teacher. 
We also have a lot of other videos and transcriptions from our teachers on our website on the Sound Slice portion, which can be accessed with a music library subscription. This has transcriptions and videos for all instruments, and you would have access to the entire archive of these, which can be found on our website at keyboardart.com slash sound slice. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming tutorials and follow us on Instagram for quick tips, student features, and announcements. Happy sound slicing.